Okay, the resistance of a heating element of, a, of an electric heater is 15 ohm when it is at temperature of uh, 1450 degrees Celsius. Um, the temperature coefficient of the heating element is 0 0.4 exponent negative 3 per degree Celsius. What is the resistance of the heating element at the room temperature of uh, uh, 30 degrees Celsius? Okay, now, uh, of course we are going to use the formula of this one R equal to R naught 1 plus alpha T minus T naught, yeah? Uh, okay, so let us write down the formula first. R equal to R naught 1 plus alpha T minus T naught. Okay, now, the real problem for this question is we need to first identify which one is T, which one is T naught. Uh, we have two different temperatures here, 1450 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. So which temperature, which temperature should be the T naught? Okay, it looks like, um, it looks like, okay, wait and see. Okay, it looks like uh, this, uh, this one is, is the initial temperature. And this one is the final temperature, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this temperature, uh, 14450, uh, is the initial temperature. And 30 degrees Celsius seems like be the final temperature. And so, you might be, or some students might be, putting uh, this initial temperature, initial temperature as uh, T naught. And he put this temperature, 30 degrees Celsius, as T, as T. Ah, because he thinks that the T, the T should be the final temperature. Yeah, he, th he thinks that the T should be the final temperature and T naught should be the initial temperature. Ah, this is the misconception he has. Well, what I can say is this is a misconception. Okay, if you think that T is the final temperature and T naught is the initial temperature, okay, uh, and you put T naught as uh, 1,540 uh, one, uh, 1450 degrees Celsius as you put this temperature as T naught then you are wrong okay you are wrong T naught is not initial temperature yeah and T is not final temperature okay misconception yeah T naught is not remember T naught is not initial temperature uh, T naught is not initial temperature. The real concept is T naught is a reference temperature. Uh, why we say reference temperature? Why we uh, T naught is not the initial temperature? Why T naught is a reference temperature? Because this temperature coefficient, this temperature coefficient, uh, we we'll call this alpha value. This is the alpha value. Uh, this one, okay. This alpha value depends on reference temperature uh, of uh, which is the T naught uh, uh, for this case the reference temperature is 30 degrees Celsius uh, because this alpha value 0 0.4 uh, this alpha value uh, we have different value we have different value at different reference temperature okay uh, right now um, uh, this uh, reference temperature is the 30 degrees Celsius because why we say this 30 degrees Celsius as reference temperature because it is in the range of room temperature. Ah, it is in the range of room temperature. What I can say is this reference temperature normally is a room temperature. I want to write that down also. Is uh, normally the room temperature. And room temperature has a range. Normally, room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 20 degrees Celsius. But sometimes, uh, it, the room temperature can have also uh, in the range between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. So, we can also regard 30 degrees Celsius as the room temperature. So, 30 degrees Celsius can be the reference temperature or T0. And this is the temperature... Uh, this is the temperature where the alpha value is based on. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, whenever it is room temperature, uh, room temperature or zero degree Celsius, or sometimes we can say as uh, we can say as a lower temperature. Normally we put we normally we put the lower temperature as T naught also. We don't put the high temperature as T naught. Okay, it is wrong. Uh, so it is wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. We normally don't put the higher temperature as T naught. Okay, we normally put the lower temperature, uh, lower temperature like room temperature or zero degree Celsius as T naught. Uh, okay, so please avoid this misconception that T naught is the initial temperature. It is wrong. Okay, so the real case is uh, this one, although it is initial temperature, okay, although, okay, uh, Although this 1450 is the initial temperature, but this one is still, I want to put this as, this is still T. Eh, no, this one as T. Uh, this one as T. And this 30 degrees Celsius, although it is final temperature, I still put this as T naught. Ah, this is what I want to emphasize. Yeah, I still put this 30 degrees Celsius as T naught. Although it is final temperature, why I put this 30 degrees Celsius as T naught? Because it is room temperature, and room temperature is always the reference temperature, or which is the T naught. Uh, okay, I'm. So are you clear? Are you clear? So remember, uh, T naught is always the room temperature or the lower temperature. Uh, and normally the lower temperature, the low temperature will be the reference temperature. The lower temperature will be the reference temperature. Okay, and so from here I can see thirty degrees Celsius is the lower temperature. So definitely it is the reference temperature or T naught. Okay, uh, so I got it already. Uh, this one as T naught. And so the resistance which I want to find should be the R not. Uh, it's not the it's not the R. Understand? It is R not actually. I need to find. Uh, so I need to find this R not. Okay. And the resistance given fifteen ohm here is actually the R because this one thousand four hundred fifty is temperature T. So this one should be the resistance R, not R not. Uh, not R not okay this one should be the R so be careful of this and what I can say uh, I actually already done these questions I found the answer actually also has this misconception uh, this uh, I found the final answer uh, 9.57 uh, is actually the wrong answer why I say 9.57 is a wrong answer because it has the misconception of this it has a misconception of taking the T naught as initial temperature. Uh, it is wrong. Okay, it is wrong. So this the answer actually based on this misconception, and uh, we cannot accept this answer. Okay, it is wrong. Uh, so the real answer I will calculate for you. Uh, I will get you the the correct answer. If you don't trust me, never mind. You uh, I have done research on this. Uh, you may uh, research on your own or you can ask other lecturers I hope uh, other lecturer will agree with me yeah I hope them will agree with me yeah after the research it okay so this answer is actually based on this misconception T naught as initial temperature so I cannot accept this answer okay now I will calculate the real answer for you okay so now I have everything needed. So R the 15 ohm is R, so I put that as 15. Uh, and then R naught, do I have R naught? Yeah, I don't have the R naught. So I need to find the R naught actually. Uh, 1 plus uh, alpha. Alpha value. Okay, this is the alpha value. Uh, this is exponent negative 3, uh, not exponent negative 30. Uh. This is exponent negative 3 actually. This is uh, degrees per degree Celsius, yeah. The sign, yeah, looks confusing. Okay, this is 0 0.4 exponent 
negative 3. Uh, yeah, actually, it's, actually, it's negative 3, not negative 30. Uh, this is per degree Celsius. This one is degree. The 0 here is actually degree, not 0. It's actually degree. Okay, so it's negative 3. Okay, the alpha, that's the alpha value. And what's the T value? T value it should be the higher temperature. The higher temperature normally is the... Uh, I, maybe I just put there. T normally is the higher temperature. And T naught should be always the lower or room temperature. Uh, yeah, T naught normally is the lower or room temperature. Although this T naught can be finer temperature. Although it can be the final temperature, uh, if this final temperature is still a lower temperature, it's still a lower temperature, we still put that as T naught. Okay, although it's final temperature. Alright, remember that. Okay, so 1450 uh, minus the uh, reference temperature 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's get me the correct answer. So I have here 15 over R0, 15 over R0, and uh, this one, okay, let me calculate, 1450, uh, minus the 30 degrees Celsius, and multiply by 0.4, exponent, negative 3, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, plus 1, plus 1, okay, I got the answer there. Is a one nine six over one two five. So R not should be um R not should be uh okay. Let's calculate fifteen multiply one two five. Uh and then and divide by uh one nine six. So the answer should be oh oh that's a that's a correct answer yeah. Am I right? Okay. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, surprise. It is actually nine. Wait. Let me see. Am I? Is it correct? Yeah. Let me see. Uh. Nine point. Nine point five seven. Uh. Oh. I got. Oh. That's the correct answer. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Because I got nine point. I got nine point. Uh. Five six six ohm. Let me check again the answer. Let me check again the answer. Uh, I wonder anything's wrong. Okay, uh, one four five zero minus uh thirty. Uh, okay, multiply point four exponent negative three. Uh, okay, and then plus one some more. Okay, I got one nine six uh, over one two five. One two five and then um all right um uh, and then uh okay this uh fifteen fifteen divide by R not okay I got it correct so one two five multiply by uh fifteen and then uh cross multiply and then uh, divide by one nine six so the answer is oh. I still get back the same answer. Uh, nine point five seven ohm. Oh, nine point nine point five seven five seven ohm. Oh, I'm so sorry. So this is a correct answer. So it's not based on the misconception. Um, uh, this nine point five seven is correct. Yeah. This I'm so sorry. This uh. 9.57 ohm is based on the correct concept uh, which is uh, which is this one t naught is the reference temperature yeah so he's taking uh, this 9.57 ohm is my answer so this 9.57 ohm is based on the concept where based on the concept where you getting you putting the final temperature which is the 30 degrees celsius as the uh, which is the room temperature as uh, the reference temperature uh, yeah so this is the T naught okay uh, the reference temperature uh, not the final temperature this is not the final temperature but this is the the reference temperature 
So it's based on the correct concept. So these answers can be accepted. Okay, so this answer is correct. Yeah. So, okay. So that's all for this question. I hope you understand. Okay, bye.